Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use Firebase performance and Crashlytics in a Flutter app. So on the left right hand side in the emulator, you can see an app running. It's collecting some data, say run trace, run HTTP metric, which are the different types of metrics provided by Firebase performance dashboard. So on clicking after some amount of time, say 12, 15 hours, then only you can see these type of events in the Firebase performance dashboard on here, right, left hand side under quality. So clicking on this, you can see different type of parameters, say network success rate, latency, MIME types, app start trace duration. Going to on device, you can see the custom metrics which your app has implemented, say test in my case, which I have implemented test here so you can see has test under which i have as metric one and in the if i click on this test you can see metric one 16 which i have put it as in my app and the favorite color as blue which i have put it in the code favorite color as blue so all this data which you can't see from your clouds or your logs you can see from uh, firebase dashboard under performance if you use it correctly gives you an gives you an insight of how your user or how your user's device is behaving so similarly for app start you can see how much time it is taking for your app to load and on the network side all the network stacks or networks requests made by your app you can see under this network tab for example, www.google.com, I am using here in my app. So you can see the different types of response time, payload size, request payload size, success rate, etc. Which you can't see, but uh, like clearly you can't see from any other stuff, but you can see under Firebase performance. So please note that this amount of data takes some time to load in Firebase dashboard, like around 12 to 15 hours minimum. And similarly, all the data once similarly happens for Crashlytics also. Once you have integrated Crashlytics, you can see under the Crashlytics dashboard of Firebase. So currently in my it's not showing maybe because it's taking a lot amount of time. But if you have done everything correctly, uh, I will post the source code below. So you would see here in the Firebase Crashlytics section. And that's it from this video guys. If you like this video, please click on like. Thank you.